Good afternoon, YouTube. Good to see you guys. Hey, I've been bouncing all over the world, uh, shucking and jiving. Miss you guys. I, uh, uh, I got a couple things I'm gonna post this weekend. I finally am wrapping up a project uh, that I've had going for about, a, I mean, nearly a year. Um, I picked up this uh, funky stove, which I thought was a stove, and uh, I just been it's just it's been in parts and uh, chipping at it away, and, and I, I'm gonna light it. I think I, I think I'm done. I think I figured it out, and I'm gonna give it a light today. So uh, it was nice knowing you, <laughs> because uh, I'm taking a risk here, um, Rob. I shot you a message. Uh, um, maybe get some feedback on you uh, from you before I get too much further but let me show you what I got so what this is I'm gonna do a little slideshow uh, at the end but what this is is actually a Coleman hot water heater this would have been uh, over three foot tall and it would have a coil Ooh, my wife that scared me. Uh, it would have a coil of copper and water would go through here and this would uh, heat uh, the element here would burn and it would heat that that stat, that flume and heat that coil and it would uh, be a hot water heater. Well someone uh, and I'll show you the pictures uh, when I first got this this was unearthed literally out of the earth in a barn and uh, and I've, like I said, I've been chipping away at it. You can kind of see I've got it all painted up with uh, heat temp, uh, new diaphragms, new new uh, gaskets, new breathers. Uh, swing this bad boy open for you so you can take a look at the burner. That has been a bear uh, to get all those grooves cleaned out, and I hope I do have them out. Now, the interesting thing is like here is the generator and uh, Rob you see this this rounded area here this guy would slide in through here like this and then there is a here I'll shut this see the little fuel this is about the size of a valve stem uh, on uh, on a car tire on a wheel very very small and uh, it has like a little inversion and that matches this cup so you slide this through in there there it's mated and then you tighten this down to give it tension on it and that's and that's uh that's what we have now i cannot find for the life of me something that will attach to this i would rather uh convert this to propane or something like that but We'll see how it goes. So this is the, the sketchiness. I think that from a sketchiness factor, uh, this is definitely a five. Um, I'll show you what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to do is take a, a tank off one of my old green stoves and uh, just slide it on in here. like so and it looks like that so I can pump it up I got fuel in there I've got a valve now this is sitting in here a little bit loose but it is sitting in here so uh, I'm gonna take it outside uh, let's give it a fire and like I said it's it's really been nice knowing you guys and really enjoyed your company let's go outside for this one <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to add, so that being a water heater, it would have been really tall. You can see that someone aborted all the guts to the water heater and then they cut it off to make a stove. So uh, that's kind of cool for me because I, uh, I don't have the space or the time to pull with a, or need for a hot water heater. So I'd much rather have a stove. So let's go, let's go on out. I just moved everything outside. All right, here we go. Here's our setup. So 
let's open this give it some breathing room let's uh heat the generator like we normally would and let's see what happens give that a little scooch in there a little further Uh oh, okay. All right, it's doing something. Let me close this. All right, so it's wide open. I don't think it's getting enough gas, so I'm thinking that maybe this generator is too small. It's not putting out much heat at all, so that element is not getting the heat that it needs. It's going to take a bit to heat that cast iron down there. It wants to go. It wants to go. It's just not getting enough fuel. This is not, or it's not getting hot enough down there. Well, it was a fun experiment. I'm one step closer. I wouldn't say it's a complete fail and I didn't blow up or catch the barn on fire. So uh, any suggestions or any, uh, I, think I, I think I'd really like to convert that to propane, um, but we'll see. I'll let you know. Uh, until next time, thanks for ch checking out my channel and I'll see you later.